Hello Leo, welcome to your June 1st through 15th reading. This is a collective reading for all Leos, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you'd like a private reading, please go to my website, royalmystic.com, and schedule your reading there. I'll be happy to assist you. You'll notice I have two extra decks on the table. I appreciate your uh, uh, patience with me as I work with them and develop their energy. So uh, this one is the Mystic Mondays on my left. It is going to be your relationship, love life, and spiritual life energy. And then we have the Illuminati that is going to be your career and finance energy. So uh, without any further ado, we will start our reading by blessing all four decks in the interest of time. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirits, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Leo, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. Thank you so much, divine, for your blessings and beautiful messages. We receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. Your divine guidance is always welcome here and very appreciated. Thank you so much, divine. All right, here we go. This is your here and now. We've got the judgment card, the hierophant, the hanged man, and the justice card. So for some of you, this is going to be talking about uh, something finishing up in a court case, okay, some kind of legal matter. And some of you, it's going to be talking about a job. Very nice. You've got the star card as your underlying energy, which is a spiritual breakthrough. This is the universe saying yes to your soul's desire. Big energy here. Okay, now let's see what our... Don't worry, I'm going into more detail. I just want to get all the cards out. That's just first glance and what I got right off the bat. Very nice, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Uh, this is more commonly seen in the regular tarot as the boat going in the right direction. So this is launching and the Queen of Swords. So you've got the Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and Queen of Swords. Your underlying energy is the Sun card. Very nice. She's been blessing us with her presence in, in a lot of readings, so we are happy to see you, Sun card. We love that energy. New beginnings and victory. Let's see what your career and finance holds. You see how the images are so different in every single deck. It's like translating different languages, so I appreciate all of your patience. So some of you are really going through a lot of uh, change here in your job, but you're moving up in the ranks, it looks like. There's a, there's a whole lot of wands, uh, which is your Leo energy. And then we've got the uh, Princess of Swords. Now, the Princess of Swords, they have knights in this deck. Normally, the princess would be the knight, and there'd be a page. The princess is the page. So this is the divine idea, inspiration, or light being shown. Okay. Here we go. I also have my clarifiers to come out, so stick around for the whole thing if you're going to watch. <laughs> it, it could turn on a dime. Uh, here's the judgment card. This is a resurrection. This is Archangel Gabriel blowing his horn, bringing something back around, either a person, place, or thing. It can be a chance. It can be, and it is judgment. So some of you, this may be actual court case. Um, it could be anything legal. Um, this is definitely resurrecting something or bringing it back around. Maybe you thought it was, you, it was a lost cause, and uh, here it is showing back up. It can also be a job, okay? So the chance of, uh, sometimes that happens. Sometimes people uh, miss the first round of something and then because uh, sometimes uh, and this is what's coming through for me sometimes the um, the company that's doing the hiring uh, gets a little premature in uh, putting the ad out or putting the listing out for the job and then they may want to rewrite it and they have to pull it and then rewrite the 
the actual description because they want to either add or, or change some responsibilities. So you may thought you have lost out on it, but then it gets redone and your application is still in the pile of, of being pulled through. So we have the, the hierophant, which can be a government official, a job, anybody telling you to come into the organization. It can be a court or a judge, okay, making an assessment. Um, we've got the hanged man, which is where you've been in the limbo or waiting, waiting to see the decision. And justice comes in. So you've got judgment and justice. So this is the fair decision coming in in your favor, the being chosen, okay, in, in a good way. And the star card is so showing your spiritual energy being all time high. So if you are in a moment of um, real concentration, the star card is bringing your, soul, your soul's desire in this outcome. So that's fabulous. So you're getting some, some real spiritual push, energy push here. So in your relationship, love life, and spiritual life, you got this grounded energy of the Queen of Pentacles. Now you see how she's it's right in her solar plexus area and like between her solar plexus and her heart so when you're in that kind of energy that's very stable solid energy and that's where you're in the place of manifesting okay so she is being very solid and very strong and connected okay that's this energy so that's the earth energy very grounded solid and connected and in a place of bringing something in then we have the six of swords which is uh, bringing your ideas to fruition. This is launching. If you look at them, they kind of look like missiles instead of swords. So you're ready to launch, okay? You're ready to launch and, and, and set sail with your ideas or your uh, vision, okay? Moving in the right direction. Queen of Swords, definitely, uh, if it's about the court thing for some of you, this is definitely the, the standing your ground, uh, you know, in a, in a place of not letting uh, anybody run over you, speaking your truth, uh, standing up for yourself. It can also mean an attorney because it is the swords. Uh, it can be anybody in law enforcement. It can be a, an engineer, a doctor, lawyer, judge, um, someone who is in the armed services, anybody scientifically minded. But you've got these two queens here. Both are feminine energy, but it doesn't mean they're both female, okay? Then you've got the Sun card in, as the underlier for these three cards here. This is definitely bringing in the Divine Light because that in the, all the other decks, this Queen, when you have this Queen of Swords, that sword is always illuminated. So it's always talking about justice and, and, and lighting up. She's also very sharp tongued, so you have to remember, very sharp mind, very sharp tongue. So whatever she's setting out to do, she's ready to do it. She's loaded for bear, okay? This beautiful energy of the sun card showing up here again. Um, even after I've cut decks and shuffled decks and done all that good stuff, y'all saw me shuffling. Um, she showed up just like that in the last reading, so that's pretty awesome. <laughs> It was meant to be. This is the new beginning. So some of you are having a whole new um, grounded, new, fertile new beginning here. Okay, because that sun card is a new beginning. A fer fertile and a balanced and uh, very, very, very much in your spiritual energy. Now, in your career and finance... We have the Six of Wands, which is being seen head and shoulders above the rest. So for those of you who this is about your uh, victory, okay, with getting the interview and getting, getting to be the front runner or the chosen person. Uh, the Five of Wands is competition, so you've endured that, okay, gone through the test. And the Four of Wands is now solid, very, very solid communication. It looks like they're dancing at a wedding, doesn't it? But it, it is very stable energy. It also means going through a threshold. So there's the beautiful palace behind them. And this is like an archway. You're passing through into toward the palace. And this is very harmonious energy. They're very strong with communication. They communicate very well. So it means you're a good match for the new position. And then you have this Princess of Swords, which is the page, which is bringing in the opportunity of the like the information that you need 
there, this is what that sword is about is spoken or thought and I think this is the uh, the information that you need to know that you've been hired this is them contacting you and letting you know so let's see what's going on with your clarifiers here we go <laughs> look at that boom boom and it's on top of that um, hierophant so that's fabulous towers coming down victories being had beautiful magician energy I'm not even going to mess with it because I'm going to pick it up here in a second anyway so king of pentacles seven or seven yeah seven of wands and the lovers and your clarifier is the five of swords so it's telling you don't get your cart don't try to stake your claim before it's time don't get your cart before your horse but it's coming okay so there's there's a lot of energy movement you got to let it all settle out here we go got the judgment card so this is definitely something that you thought was off the table it's manifesting behind you so you you still don't see it it's okay this is where you get in the kind of funky energy of being being afraid of you know, well that didn't work out now what okay don't don't allow yourself to sit in that pity party uh, turn around and look around because some you may got an email or something like that that you don't even realize uh, don't don't uh, don't sink too far into feeling like it's a lost cause because it looks like it it is definitely returning um, the hermit or the the hierophant sorry not the hermit the hierophant and the sun card are saying this is a brand new beginning this is fabulous this is being the spiritual energy is your white horse here it stands for spirit your baby is the new the new beginning the new uh, whatever it is if it's a new job if it's a new uh, beginning to a new phase in your life okay it could be figuratively or physically um, and then you have this new growth seals beautiful sunflowers with the Sun behind it. it means it's constantly going to be nurtured and very happy energy the Sun card is the happiest card in the deck and you have two of them yay Leo hanged man looking at things from a different uh, perspective sort of lifting up like you do here looking down you can see the whole picture then you've got pay attention to the details focus on what's right in front of you okay that's what you're actually doing is you're looking at the d you're looking it over like very with a fine tooth comb leo i know that's your energy that's <laughs> you guys have to have a plan and that's what you're doing you're you're painted you're chiseling away at the little details so here's the justice card this is the decision being made in your favor and the moon card which is something uh, to be revealed so you've got the Sun and the moon on opposite sides it does not mean negative it just means that it's not it's in the manifestation phase right now it's being manifested so Queen of Pentacles and the tower so this is telling you get very grounded in your energy solid and be ready for the breakthrough okay because this is a breakthrough the tower breaking down is the walls coming down something being rebuilt obstacles being removed the six of swords ready to launch in a new direction with the ace of swords which is a gift from the universe very much divine energy cutting away all of the the illusion cutting through the veil showing the truth queen of swords standing up for yourself making make getting ready to move forward in your own confidence okay with the magician that's showing you have the power to manifest whatever you want and the sun card here is saying you're manifesting a new beginning so make it count stay positive okay ask for your best possible outcome that and it, it can be that that simple you don't have to add a bunch of details because if you start adding de details, you start cutting off possibilities. So let the universe manage the details. You just stick with your positivity. Six of Wands. And that's no easy feat, by the way. You all know that. Staying positive when the SHIT is hitting the fan is not easy. <laughs> so Six of Wands with the King of Pentacles. All right. So we have this victory and this. this is a huge commitment 
from from the king of pentacles he's got it in his hand this is his hand offering this card to you i mean this card this coin on the card so definitely strong energy making a financial commitment a solid commitment because he's king midas he's not he's not bsing around he's for real he's he's all about it so when he shows up he's not showing up for show he's ready to, for some action so the five of wands is the competition and the and the the old uh, backbiting stuff that was going on possibly at the old job uh, letting go of that holding it off staying focused don't give up on the dream that's part of this where you're in the don't know what's going on here uh, don't don't give up keep hold your ground don't give up because this is going to come through for you even though you feel like that five of pentacles has you feeling like it may not happen and look at this so you've got this beautiful four of rods which has got these people looks like they're dancing at their wedding doesn't it then you have that's weird how that just changed colors i know y'all saw that y'all pay attention to that stuff <laughs> then we've got the lovers which is uh your higher self being present or some of you may be actually meeting the love of your life at this new place or you feel like it is a place that you just fit right in and you absolutely feel like it's part of your destiny. And uh, very rightfully so because this is, this is a beautiful energy. The lovers can be a, an ascension of higher self or feeling of purpose uh, and spirituality in what you do for a living. And some of you this is really true because you've got this beautiful star card here. Uh, the sun card, the star card, uh, sun card twice. Uh, the, the magician, I can't even, you know, the lovers, this is a wonderful reading, Leo. I hope you all uh, have all of these wonderful, beautiful things and receive them as blessings at, as they are. And uh, don't forget we have the weeklies with the meditation at the end. And we have dailies if you want to join the dailies. We do daily energy with affirmations and meditations. So uh, you have all kinds of aspects we can do to, to stay positive and focused and trying to manifest your best possible outcome. And uh, I send you all my love, everyone. Thank you so much for being part of this beautiful journey we've been on together. And I cannot give you enough gratitude for, for what you have done to assist me in this wonderful path we have gone down together. Uh, I send you blessings, love, and light, and tons of prosperity. Namaste.